going to be so good. Wait. Oh yeah. It's going to be so good. <laughs> so we made a volcano and it worked out really well. And I thought, this is the kind of stuff that people share on YouTube. <laughs> so here's the volcano that we made. Um, my six-year-old doesn't like uh, paper mache, so we decided to make it out of salt dough. This is what it looks like. You can see here, this is a glass bottle. It's a maple syrup bottle. And we built the salt dough around it so that um, the reason I had to use glass is because you have to bake the salt dough. So this recipe, I used 12 cups of flour three, no, six cups of salt and six cups of water. And you mix it all together. I didn't do it all at once. I did it in batches. Um, you mix it all together and then you shape it around the bottle and you pack it as tight as you can and you make it the shape that you want. And then you stick it in the oven at about um, the lowest temperature that you can get it. And I really, that needed, mine was in the oven for like three days. Um, I would turn the heat on for like an hour and then turn it off for a couple hours and then turn it on for an hour and turn it off for a couple hours because I didn't want to use that much electricity. Um, anytime we had to cook, you know, we would take it out and we would cook and then we'd stick it back in again when we were done cooking. And after about three days, it was hard enough that we were able to then take it out and then we painted it. So I just use your basic um, tempera wash off paint. Um, the girls painted this and then I also put it in a in like a big box that they painted that as well And they made a whole scene they had like ocean and it was an island coming out of the ocean a volcanic island um, And then I wanted to be able to use it more than once if I'm putting 12 cups of flour in something I need to be able to use it more than once So I went to the craft store and I bought this clear acrylic sealer and I sprayed the whole thing um, probably, I did, probably did about six coats. I don't know if I needed that many coats, um, but I wanted to get in all the cracks and all the crevices and I wanted to make sure that it was really waterproof. Um, something I forgot to do the first time is the bottom because it was sitting on the bottom and I just kind of forgot about it. But then of course, as soon as the liquid comes out, it all pools underneath it and the bottom got really soggy and gross. I had to let it dry out the first time we used it and then I sprayed it a few times today, but it hasn't been sprayed enough. It's still a little bit soggy. So I think I might do a couple of more coats of the spray. And then it was ready to go. Once all that was dry, it was ready to go. So I'll show you what happened. Go for it. We had some visitors when we did our volcano experiment this time. This is a family of homeschoolers that we hang out with every other week or so. They were really excited, but we learned a very important safety lesson right here. Charlotte got hit in the eye with the vinegar and the baking soda solution. She was okay. Don't worry. We rinsed it out with water. Within a few minutes, she was laughing about it, but we all really learned an important lesson about safety. And now everyone says... <laughs> For our second attempt, no, we were much safer. In fact, right. so safe that nobody wanted to pour the vinegar in the volcano. We had one brave volunteer, but of course they forgot to take the funnel out of the volcano. So we had to try again. All right, it's filming. It took us some trial and error. We figured out that putting the bacon soda in first and then the vinegar was the best system for our volcano. So I think we'll watch that one in slow motion. 